Hi everybody. So today I just want to show you guys a little trick that um, has been attempted by many people. Um, actually, there are many variations of this. I learned a variation of this by Eric Jones, but this is not the variation of Eric Jones. This is my own variation that I find the most simple and easiest version. So basically, this trick allows you to take any four of a kind and trap three selections. So let me go through the performance and now I'll show you how the trick is done. So I'm going to need three selections. So let's say we go for one, two, and three. Okay? Now if you can memorize it, just get a piece of paper and write it down. But I'm not going to look. You just memorize the three cards. Okay. Good. Alright. We're going to take the first selection. And we're going to take that, and it's going to go into the middle of the pack, okay? And as you can see, it's the rear card. Okay. So we're going to give a deck of cards a little cut, just to break that even further. I'm going to take your second selection, and that's going to go into the middle of the pack. And as you can see, it's really in the middle, and it's the rear card, okay? And we'll push that in, and give a deck of cards a couple of cuts, to break that even further. Now we're going to take your last selection, okay, place that on top, and just bury the cards, that, and I think I'm going to give it a deck of cards, a couple more cuts, just like that. So now we've got your uh, three selections nicely buried, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to need a four of a kind to help me trap your three selections, and I'm going to use the four aces. So, uh, okay, four races. One, two, three. I hope you can see it. Okay, four aces. Oops. Yep, hopefully you can see it. And I'm going to show you them individually so you know that the, I'm not cheating. The ace of clubs, okay. The ace of diamond. Okay. See, it has a normal back. Okay. And then the Ace of Spades and the Ace of Hearts. Okay. You can see them very clearly. Once again, we have the Ace of Spades and the Ace of Hearts. So I'm going to take them and bury them right into the middle of the patch, like so. And watch. Just like that. And you can see that the four Aces trap three cards. Okay. These are your three selections. The Jack of Spades, Nine of Spades, and Nine of Hearts. Okay, so let me teach you how to do this trick. Now, since I want to keep this impromptu, uh, I'm not going to do any card forces so that my audience does not select an ace. So therefore, sometimes I do not use the four aces. I sometimes use the four kings or the four jacks, depending on what they select. And I'm also going to tell you later how to figure out what card they selected. Okay? So as I said, you're going to need three selections. You can have three spectators each get in selection if you have three spectators. Okay? So we're going to use the King of Spades, Eight of Clubs, and Nine of Spades. Now you don't have to memorize them because uh, we're just going to use these three cards as the ones to help trap. Okay? You don't have to know that they're correct because I guarantee they are. Uh, this is my version of how to do it. You place the first card into the middle, show it's still their card, you bury it, and then cut. you keep the break, and do a single other cut like that. Okay? So you, you keep holding the break, take their second selection and push it into the break, release the break, and you show that their card is really in the middle, show it's still their card, and then you want to push down while you push in at the same time, that'll help you maintain a break. On break, do a double table cut, to control um, two of the selections at the top, and take the last card, place that on top. Swing cut half the pack into the middle, and at the, the same time catch break. That okay? And you're also and what you're gonna do is you have your break, and you're gonna move the break to the front, ring finger. Catch this hold of the packet on the bottom.
bottom, middle finger. On the top packet, swing cut, and just thumb swivel the middle packet, thumb swivel the uh, top packet, and then the last packet. Okay? So now I've got the three selections on top. If you don't want to use the method I'm using, use whatever method you like. Okay? Now in order to uh, see what three selections your audience chose, I normally just go through packs saying your three selections are now gone. And I just look up the three cards. I know they did not select an ace. So the four of a kind I'm going to use today, this time, is the four aces. So, uh, okay. Got the four aces. As they're looking on at the aces, I just catch a break on the three cards. The three selections. And I say I show them the aces individually. First the aces. Um, first the ace of spades. Why did I take two cards? I have no idea. Okay. Oh God. Uh, sorry, sorry, man. Uh, maybe my cards are a bit too rough. Anyways, you show you have the ace of spades. You want to do this all in a very fluid motion, but mainly what you're doing is as you peel off the second ace, you're gonna pull back this card. So at the same time, as I showed that the ace of diamonds is rolled back, in between the I took one more card. In between the ace of spades and the ace of diamonds is a card. And then when I peel off the ace of clubs, okay, at the same time I show ace of clubs, but note that I already peeled off one more card, and there's one with the ace of hearts, but it's not on top. Swing cut to the middle, okay, double the cards, and I just spread out the cards to show my audience. That's how quick it is. Voices have now trapped three cards. These three cards are there. <coughs> three selections. Now I'm sorry if uh, you know I have a sore voice or something, or this video is going on too long. But today I'm uh, a bit sick. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, this I'm gonna be posting probably a tutorial on either Invisible Aces or McDonald's Aces later on. So yeah, hope you guys you guys will enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.